Did you know that the series, It's Okay, To Not Be Okay, is inspired by a true story that did not have a happy ending? The story of this series was written by Jo Young. Something that has made this drama very successful has been the topics that it has dealt with, since they are topics that very few people dare to talk about and that is how to live with people with mental health problems. We know that the story of the drama is about a young worker who is a nurse in a psychiatric hospital and his brother who has autism, where this young man meets a very beautiful girl who suffers from a personality disorder that makes his life a little more complicated, but at the same time a little more joyful. But not many know that this story is inspired by a real-life story and that its ending was not very nice. That's why today I'm going to tell you, It's Okay, To Not Be Okay, was based on a real-life event. But first remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be among the first to see our content. In an interview for Star News Jo Young confessed the reasons that made her write this story and her intention to send a special message to a man she had a relationship with who suffered from a personality disorder that she didn't know how to handle when they were together. The creator explained that writing this drama, and especially with Gang Tae's character, was her best way to apologize to that man and at the same time heal the feeling of guilt that has been with her since they broke up. I wanted to apologize somehow and let him know that he didn't do anything wrong. And that I hope he's happy wherever he is. We know that the series is a romantic comedy about a psychiatric hospital caretaker named Moon Kong Tae, played by Kim So Hyun and a children's book author named Go Moon Young, played by Seo Yi Ji, who help each other heal each other's wounds. It may be that the couple in the drama had an antisocial personality problem, and perhaps that's why they specifically wrote about Moon Young's character. Although of course the writer of this drama did not specify what kind of personality disorder her ex-partner had, she was very brave to tell something that may be a bit uncomfortable. But thanks to that experience, Jo Young was able to write about this incredible drama. Most of the time writers take a lot from their personal life and turn the difficult things in their life into art, as they can express it through books or series. Jo Young also commented that she will publish five books for children about the drama. Talking about the importance of children's books on drama, writer Jo Young said, the stories in children's books have a deep connection with Moon Young. Moon Young, who develops antisocial personality disorder due to her mother's emotional abuse as a child, uses the books to tell the world, help me, save me, and help me so that other children won't have to suffer like me. She added, although her modes of expression were sometimes harsh, they were a child's desperate cries for help and protests against troublesome adults. Since I started creating the character, I wanted to use the children's books as a window to communicate Moon Young and her method of survival, and I wanted to show that only those with similar scars to Moon Young could discover the true meaning of the stories and begin to heal. She revealed that at first, she had no plans to publish the children's books of the drama. In the process of editing the scripts of episodes 1 to 4, director Park Shin Woo suggested that I publish The Zombie Boy, instead of just presenting the story in the drama. Jam San, the illustrator of the books, did an amazing job with the illustrations. Just for the illustrations alone, the books would be worth owning, so we decided to go ahead with publishing them. A total of five children's books will be released, and if it wasn't for director Park Shin Woo or illustrator Jam San, the books probably wouldn't have been able to see the light of day. Episode 4 of It's Okay to Not Be Okay brought among its novelties a touching story that has struck a deep chord with lead actor Kim So Hyun and viewers. In episode 3 of the drama, many wanted to find out why the investors refused to go through with the project of releasing the story, The Zombie Boy, created by Seo Yi Ji. And it was until the fourth episode of the drama that fans got to know this sentimental story of a mother and her son. After Seo Yi Ji recommended Kim So Hyun to read The Zombie Boy, Kim So Hyun does so near the end of the episode and ends up in tears as he relates his story to the story. When Gang Tae finished reading, he burst into tears because he related the story to what he experienced with his mother. 
While his mother worried about Sang Tae, the little boy just wanted to feel some of the attention she gave to his older brother. Also, another story that is reflected in the story is that of the congressman's son who is treated at the psychiatric hospital, from time to time. The young man only asked for a little attention and good treatment from his father, who belittled him all his life. It is worth mentioning that at a press conference, Kim So Hyun said that the scene that affected him emotionally the most was when he read the story of The Zombie Boy, because it reminded him of some moments with his mother. The Zombie Boy narrates. In a small village, a baby was born. He had pale skin and big eyes. As he grew up, his mother realized that the child had no feelings. He only had a desire to eat like a zombie. So his mother locked him in the basement so that the people of the village would not see him. At night, the mother stole animals to feed him. That's how she raised him in secret. One night she would steal a chicken, another a pig. Several years went by like this. And one day, there was an epidemic outbreak that killed all the animals. And the people who survived left the village. But the mother could not leave her son. And to calm his crying, she cut off a leg and gave it to him, then an arm, gave him all her limbs and when nothing was left but her torso, she lay down beside the child one last time to give him what was left of her. With both arms the child held his mother's torso and spoke for the first time, Mom, you're so warm. What did the child want? To satisfy his hunger? Or to feel his mother's warmth? He certainly wanted his mother's warmth. Well, this story really touched actor Kim So Hyun as it reminded him of his mother. He is not the first actor who in some parts can be affected by his role. We have seen that many actors prepare a lot to successfully play their character and then feel that their work affected them emotionally. Do you think that in children's stories they should talk about people with mental health problems to create more empathy? Leave your opinion here. If you like this video, like and share it with your friends.